to do whatever may be necessary. That's pretty far reaching. That's the sky's the limit. Tony, I am calling on you to condemn the Catholic Church for its attempts to intervene in the running of this state. Hi everyone, thank you very much for joining in. You know something, sometimes when you think life can't throw up any more surprises, pleasant surprises, for a humanist like my good self, um, well, surprises do come along. Follow me please and uh, I'll, I'll fill you in on the details. So, here we are at this famous location, everybody. Um, last October, the world's attention was focused on a place called Galway in Ireland and the case, a tragic case of a lady called Savita Halapanava. And I made a video about that, who died um, from uh, blood poisoning, but uh, the whole case centered around being Ireland being a Catholic country and that um, she was being denied determination on that basis. Um, and that's history now. But uh, as a follow-up to that, during the video that I made on that, um, I accused the Taoiseach. Taoiseach, by the way, is Gaelic for Prime Minister. So um, we, we will need that to reference. Um, I accused Anna Kenny of being a coward. And I said he wouldn't do anything about it in terms of uh, the pending legislation for or to bring in uh, legislation as was the, obliged by the uh, Constitution and the European Court ruling. Well, at this moment in time, I feel right here outside the Berlimont European Commission in Brussels, I feel like giving an apology to Enda Kenny, our Prime Minister, because of the following clip that I'm going to show you now from the Irish Dáil or the Irish Parliament. So, here's what he had to say. Therefore, I am proud to stand here as a public representative, as a Taoiseach, who happens to be a Catholic, but not a Catholic Taoiseach. I'm a Taoiseach for all of the people, that's my job while I have it. There we are, I was very impressed with that. Yeah, I, uh, I'm a Prime Minister who happens to be Catholic rather than a Catholic Prime Minister. For people who may not understand, I've labelled this and said this many, many times in different videos, you cannot understand the gravity of that um, from an Irish perspective that was so much in the grip um, of the Catholic Church and its tyranny for such a long time. And thank goodness there's such a turnaround. As if that occasion under leader's questions wasn't impressive enough, for me as a humanist and an Irish citizen, I was absolutely shocked and delighted when another deputy called John Halligan had this to say. Deputy Halligan, you can call. First of all, can I also offer my condolences to the family of the three young men who lost their lives off the coast of Tremor yesterday, three hard-working young men. Uh, to, uh, there have been a number of deeply disturbing reports over the last number of weeks about the level of abuse and intimidation that TDs are receiving from pro-life activists and the Catholic Church over the protection of life during the pregnancy, during pregnancy bill. I, like many other TDs, have been subject to abuse. I've even had people come to my house after 12 o'clock at night. There have been several serious incidents of verbal abuse aimed at TDs. Some have been ambushed outside of their house. They've been spat at. They've been threatened with having their home burned down. And one has been threatened with having her throat cut. Tarnished last week, we had Archbishop Dermot Martin calling on the government to do away with the party whip. And no doubt you are aware of the attempts by the church to compare your government to a totalitarian regime. <coughs> On Tuesday, the Catholic bishops issued a statement claiming that people were being misled on the debate and that the government is not obliged to legislate on the X case. And we now have senior Vatican officials calling on TDs who might be Catholic to resign if they support your bill. Tarnishta, might you agree with me that here is an organisation that is non-democratic, anti-democratic, that is historically anti-woman, has the most dreadful record of child protection. <coughs> Would you agree with me that this organization has no right to be the state's moral compass and is in no position to lecture anyone 
on human rights. With the Catholic Church's blood-stained history from pre-medieval times to the Crusades across Europe and the Middle East, to their submission and sufferance of the Nazi regime in war-torn Italy, and the irreparable damage that they have done to human beings, particularly children, across the world. Tarnished that the irony has not been wasted on the public that Thank TDs you, who don't toe the line are being threatened with so-called excommunication. Yet, no such public threats were made to priests, bishops, or anyone else within the Catholic Church that were convicted of abusing and destroying the lives of, t of children. Tarnished, I am calling on you to condemn the Catholic Church for its attempts to intervene in the running of this state and to call on the church to, to, to resist and desist, desist from harassing TDs faced with an already difficult time in making a decision on this legislation. Thank you, Deputy. And can I finally say, Tornister, no one has the right to threaten legislators in a democracy and threatening TDs to induce them to vote in a particular way must surely be illegal. Let me put this to you. No, no, you won't put any If it emerges that a major time. criminal Thank was you, attempting to bully TDs in this doll on any issue, there would be a public outcry. Thank you. Would Please. you condemn the church and its cohort and its menus in the pro-life group for their attempts to continually intimidate legislators have, who have been voted uh, by the people of Ireland to legislate in this parliament? There we are. I have very little to add to that. I couldn't have said it better myself. I don't think Richard Dawkins could have said it better himself. Um, and I couldn't believe that was coming from an Irish Member of Parliament. Thank goodness times have changed. Last point I'll say to everyone, I know that was quite long, thank you for bearing with it, is that uh, oftentimes when I bring these issues up, or the atheist humanist community, um, I myself, um, it's as if we had, um, you know, horns and a tail or something like that. Um, so I, I hope that uh, by the members and, you know, uh, that particular member in that speech, it's, it, we're finally sort of getting some legitimacy or the right to have an opinion and the right to speak out on these things. So um, little by little, progress indeed. Thank you very much for watching. Please rate, comment or subscribe. Bye bye.